I have had a dream, and that dream is my third graphic novel. Thank you in anticipation for your support for The Midsummer Night's Dream Team. Ill met by moonlight, Titania, said he, desperately trying to shoehorn as many quotes from Midsummer Night's Dream into this video as I possibly can. Hello, my name's Kev F. I have been writing and drawing comics for millions of years. You probably know my work from the Beano or from the Dandy or from Doctor Who Adventures or Doctor Who magazine or from when I worked for Marvel or Viz or... Uh, anybody remember the Gladiators, Zig and Zag Zogazine? Uh, the comic festival in Bristol, I used to run that. Anyway, uh, in 2020, that's now, I started producing graphic novels, self-publishing them. My first graphic novel at the start of the year was Finley Macbeth. Thank you everybody who supported this. What I did was I took Shakespeare's The Scottish Play and set it in 1970s Scotland. And um, you were very helpful in supporting this graphic novel, the 120 page story followed by the play by Shakespeare itself. And then I was going to be promoting that all summer at the various comic festivals and the comic art masterclasses I do, and the pandemic struck. And so in March I began my second graphic novel, The Prince of Denmark Street, again set in 1977. This time I took Hamlet and he's now a member of a punk band called The Danes with Rosencrantz and Guildenstern and Horatio. And there's his girlfriend, the folk singer Ophelia, and her dad is Polonius the hippie. And they're all on on Tin Pan Alley in London at the heart of the music industry in 1977, the start of the punk revolution, and when Hamlet discovers what's happened to his dad and how his, his uncle has married his mum, well, it all goes a bit awry. Uh, with both of these stories, I took Shakespeare's original and put my own unique twist on the story, as those of you who supported me in, in vast numbers uh, will attest. Hopefully you liked what I did. So. What fools these mortals be? Who would take Shakespeare's funniest comedy and try to make a funny book out of it himself? Well, not me. That's why, with Midsummer Night's Dream Team, what happens in my story is Peter Quince gets the gang together for one last job. Yes, I've turned Midsummer Night's Dream into a heist movie. You see, what happened with my previous books is I took uh, tragedies and I turned them into comedy thrillers. Well, Midsummer Night's Dream's already funny enough. It's the funniest Shakespeare play I've ever seen. I saw it done way back in 1985 by The People Show at the Haymarket Theatre in Leicester. And I saw it most recently by the Lord Chamberlain's men at Tintsfield in um, the house near Bristol in, I think that was 2011. Wonderful productions. It's very, very funny. Well, I can't make it any funnier than it already is. So we've taken it and we've made it into a thriller. I say we, it's entirely me. Uh, and my cast of players, yes. Yes, what happens is there's a jewellery theft that takes place during the wedding of Theo the Greek and Hippolyta at their restaurant, Athens, um, where we meet the star-crossed lovers with their bizarre love triangle as Hermia, Dimitri, Helena, Lysander. And uh, are they the suspects? Well, we'll find out as they're interviewed by Inspector Philostrate. Some people pronounce it Philostrate, some people pronounce it Philostrate. It doesn't need to scan in my version, so pronounce it how you like as she's accompanied by Constable Bill and they're interviewing the likely suspects in this crime as well as the star-crossed lovers we have the band yes the band well the band of players uh, who are performing their concept album Pyramus and Thisbe led by their agent Peter Quince we meet Bottom and Snog and Snout and Starveling and Flute are they responsible or could it be the denizens of the nightclub next door yes next door there is Woods Nightclub which is run by Titania and Oberon we meet the dancers Peas Blossom and Moth and Cobweb and Mustard Seed and we meet the mischievous and mysterious Puck. The course of true love never did run smooth, and the course of Shakespeare's original plot I take some liberties with. But if you like your Shakespeare um, a little bit twisted, a little bit turned on its head, uh, with many surprises and tricks in the tale, and remember you get a 120 page graphic novel plus the full text of Shakespeare's play at the back, then please join me uh, with a Midsummer Night's Dream Team. You can simply get a copy of the book and you can get a copy of my previous books as well, just with the cost of the book plus the postage. That's there on Kickstarter. You can be thanked inside the book uh, in our acknowledgements. Um, please, I would love it if you wanted to do that. If you want more, I'll do original sketches for you. Here are some of the sketches I did for the supporters of Finlay Macbeth and here are some of the sketches I did for the supporters of Prince of Denmark Street, where I took the characters from Prince of Denmark Street and put them into famous album covers. I don't know what I'm 
I'm going to do uh, for the supporters of A Midsummer Night's Dream Team, but you can be sure I will think of something. Um, Hang on, I'm going to shoehorn in another one of those Midsummer Night's Dream quotes. Uh, yes, love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind, and therefore is winged Cupid painted blind. And I will be not doing winged Cupid painted blind, but I might do. Who knows? I could do anything. Uh, you could even have original artwork from the book itself. I'm told that uh, the original artwork that people bought from Prince of Denmark Street and Philly Macbeth is starting to be worth something. So you're investing not only in my present, but in your own future as an art collector. Um, that's not guaranteed, but uh, it's a likelihood. So, if you'd like artwork, please join us. If you'd like original sketches, please join us. If you'd just like the book, please do join us. Um, thank you, everybody who has supported my previous books, and thank you in anticipation for supporting a Midsummer Night's Dream Team. Let's get one last quote in. Though she be little, she is fierce. Although, with 120 pages of story plus the play, you're looking at about 200 pages worth of book. Is that little? I don't know. Is it fierce? Definitely. Uh, thank you. My name's Kev F. And you are joining in with the Midsummer Night's Dream Team.